Hello, I'm John Mark Stoudy, President and CEO of Riverside Resources. This is another episode of John Mark's Geo Tutorial. Today, we're going to go through the process of sampling drill core. We have the help of our geologist and supervisor for our exploration program at Sugarloaf Peak, Pedro Herrera. And Pedro is going to take us through the different techniques and the processes of managing and sampling the drill core. The first stage in receiving the drill core is we bring it into the logging tables. The first key things are the geology, the alteration, and the structure. The geological logging of the drill core is a key next step. We'll mark the core with different intervals for sampling. We'll log the geology, keeping track of the rock types, the alteration, and the structural information. We put those on a geologic log. Sometimes those are done in directly into the computer, in this case, onto a paper log. We use our hand lens to look up close to study the mineralogy. We use our scratcher to tell the hardness and alteration. Those characteristics are then put onto this geologic log. Here we can see the process of sawing drill core. The core is cut in half, with half going to the assay laboratory, and the other half being saved and put in boxes for future reference and storage. The core is cut down the central axis, so as to capture the most representative and even sample. The equipment is kept clean to eliminate contamination between samples. It is very important for the drill cutter to use safety gear such as ear and eye protection. Once we've sampled the core, we then lay it out into boxes. This gives us tracking of the information and also we send away one bag for assaying and the remainder stays in the box, the other half of the drill core. This half drill core is then maintained for future logging and any other research we need to do on the exploration project. This is John Mark and Pedro for John Mark's Geo Tutorial. We hope you'll tune in for another episode of John Mark's Geo Tutorial.